All right, so this is one of the most complicated things that happens on an Audi, and that's putting this uh, VVT back on once you've managed to get the bolt out. And so I have the new chain. It's a new chain tensioner. So there's a dot right here. That's where this shiny brass part goes. And then you run the chain around, and I've marked 18 and 19. So start after the link and you count one, two, three, four, all the way down 18 and 19 are where the mark on this one is supposed to go. There's also a stud right here and that stud's gonna go right into there. So let me put that dash, actually it's gonna be easier to put this on first. All right, so the dash is right in between those two links. Come over here, find a dot, set that, go around that thing, get the dot on there. All right, so now the dot is in between that. Now I gotta put this on. You hand me that blue handle tool. So you need a special tool, so this is holding holding them in alignment. And then you turn this just a little bit and she goes right on. Like that. And now it's tight. Now I gotta put that in the bolt. This bolt's a bit of a pain. Uh, Actually had a lot of trouble getting it out. A lot of people take them out with a sawzall. So. Setting up the torque wrench. So it's 20 Newton meters plus 45 degrees. Yeah, sorry. I had it calibrated, but it sat too long. Again, you need this special tool in here to, uh, to keep the cams perfectly aligned. And then that other little tool just to move the chain that little itty bitty bit. And watch this thing so sensitive. There we go. So 20 Newton meters, 45 degrees. And I did put a little bit of anti-seize in there. Okay, that's 20 Newton meters and 45 degrees. Pull the pin, and that's all she wrote. Thank you.